Hello, today I will demonstrate to you how you can design beams with the RCC11 Element Design Spreadsheet Program. It's a free spreadsheet program developed by Reinforced Concrete Council UK and has been around for some time. So as you can see, this program designs to BS8110. The code versions are also available. And here, the blue colored character cells, we provide input for the beam design and the output will give us the results of, uh, uh, of the input parameters. Here we could see the area of tension still required and we could also see the effective depth D calculated. We could also see that uh, the actual uh, deflection check has also been calculated. And to the right here, we could de change the span. For instance, if we are designing a simply supported or a continuous span. And to the extreme right here, we see various calculations that have been done by the program, you know, based on our input parameters. Uh, this is very useful if you want to verify your design calculations. And if you are very good with hand designs, uh, this program will be of immense benefit to you. So I will demonstrate the use of this uh, spreadsheet program with a simple example. Determine the area of steel required for a beam of breadth B of 230 millimeters and depth H of 550 millimeters having material strengths of F subscript Cu equals to 30 newtons per millimeter squared and F subscript Y equals to 460 newtons per millimeter squared for concrete and steel respectively. The design moment at ultimate limit state is 165 kN which causes sagging of the beam. So we input the design parameters of the question. We have 165 as the design moment. Uh, we are not given the span, but we could choose a span of 6,000 uh, millimeters. Uh, height, we are given a height of 550 millimeters. Breadth of 230. Uh, this, we could initially choose a tension steel. Yeah, we have 16 and 12. Let's leave it that way. And then we could change the strength of concrete to 30. And uh, we'll leave the rest as it is. Uh, this is the factor of safety for the concrete and the reinforcement. And here we could see the output. It says fails in minimum tension spacing. So we may need to increase the tension still. So let's say we increase it to 20. And let's observe the output. In here uh, there are no errors here. So we could see the effective depth is 505 millimeters. Could also see the area of steel provided as 3 T20 tension steel, which gives us 942 uh, millimeters squared. And we can see the deflection check has been done and it's okay. Now, it's the compression steel is not required here. If it were required, it would have been activated in the output. So, for instance, let's say we reduce the height to say 400. And let's see whether it gives us a compression steel. Yes, it gives us a compression steel, as we can see here. So we could see that um, this program is very good for what if situations and you could quickly use it to optimize your design. Although it says fails on minimum tension space in here. So um, we could increase our tension still to 25 and we see what happens. Yes, and we don't have any errors. We have a compression steel as well as a tension steel. And we can do a lot of what if situations by changing parameters and optimizing uh, our design and uh, if you are very good at um, hand design calculations this spreadsheet program will be of immense benefit uh, to you also note that this spreadsheet program can be used for design of t beams uh, beam shear and columns thank you for watching